everyone, it's Bonnie. Happy Friday! Oh my goodness, you guys, what a fun day. I'm going to talk about Bath & Body Works, some annual sale, retired fragrances that are coming back, and then I'm also going to be doing a Kringle Candle Reserve Line video reveal later today. I am so excited about this. Oh my goodness. But first, we got to talk more about Bath & Body Works semi-annual sale. We are doing a countdown. We are now, I got to get a calculator. How sad is that? Um, 11 plus 13, 24 days away from the Bath & Body Works summer semi-annual sale. That's like a little over three weeks. A little over three weeks. It's coming, you guys. Um, not much going on today at Bath & Body Works. We do have a wallflower <laughs> the word just left my brain <laughs> a wallflower sale going on now 350 you do have to use a code in store and online the code online is serene and then um the candles are actually still 1595 today but nothing new nothing new is happening 350 on wallflowers i don't consider that to be super exciting that's why i didn't do a whole video about it i'm more excited about the retired fragrances that are coming back for semi-annual sale, including, I gotta talk about this one first, Sunset Glow. Oh my gosh, I have a desperate need of some Sunset Glow. So what Bath & Body Works does is they always bring back like five or six, we have five this time, retired scents, and that is usually um, their front floor set. And you are going to see the prices fluctuate. Sometimes they're $5.95, sometimes they're $4.95. We'll see what the prices are this year. We don't know, but um, sometimes they go back and forth a little bit. So they will have the Fine Fragrance Mist, the Shower Gel, the Body Cream, and the Lotion. And I'm assuming we're going to get the Body Cream, we will, I know, in the Hyaluronic Acid Formula, which is great, the Ultimate Hydration Cream, because I don't think, like Country Apple, we've seen it yet. And I'm not even sure about um, Sunset Glow. Did we see the uh, new Hydration Formula Cream in Sunset Glow? I don't think we have. I actually have an older um, whipped lotion from Sunset Glow, and it is still good. I, I use it sparingly, um, because I love it so much. Sunset Glow is one of my Desert Island scents. It's kind of like Strawberry Pound Cake. I love it. Uh, scent notes on this one are Fresh Coconut, Sparkling Cherry Seltzer, Dreamy Moonflower, and Caramelized Vanilla. It's got more than three scent notes. It is out of this world fabulous. I'm really glad they didn't change the packaging up because I don't think they could have done a better job for Sunset Glow. Like, I think I would have been upset if we saw like a really um, different packaging. I love it. I wear this one often. It smells amazing. I am in desperate need of shower gel. I have no Sunset Glow shower gel left. I love it in the shower. It's got a nice like creamy, caramelized vanilla, the cherry seltzer. I will review each of these um, groups uh, once I get them because I want to get everything, uh, obviously, in Sunset Glow. Um, so I'll be doing, you know, big reviews of this once I get my hands. We'll, we'll compare. Make sure it's the same thing. It better be the same thing. But Sunset Glow is coming back. Another one that is coming back is Country Apple. Um, I have mixed feelings about Country Apple. I would much prefer Bath & Body Works does Pumpkin Apple. <laughs> By the way, if you are new to my channel, I say pumpkin. I do. I don't say pumpkin. It's it's like a dialect, I think, from Ohio. I don't know. Maybe I'm the only person in Ohio that says pumpkin. But as fall approaches, everyone goes, you know you're saying pumpkin, Bonnie. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, pumpkin apple is my dream fall scent. Um, country apple is a lot deeper. It's got some floral mixed in it. Um, I have mixed feelings on country apple, but like I said, I will do a review. Um, and then we have Sea Island Shore coming back. This one seems to like be around all the time. So I don't feel like this is like a comeback. It'll be less expensive. Um, it is the Clean Cotton, Orange Blossom, Blue Freesia, and Ocean Musk. It's a nice, fresh scent. Not really my scent. I never really got on board with um, Sea Island Shore, but, you know, it's not a bad scent. And then 
they're doing Pink Chiffon, which was back last year. I'm glad Cucumber Melon is not going to be front and center. You know how I feel about Cucumber Melon. <laughs> I like Pink Chiffon. We got a package update. This is the Sparkling Red Pear, Jasmine Petals, Tear Flower, Vanilla Orchid, and Chiffon Musk. I do like this one a lot. It's a nice, fresh, fruity floral. It's great for summer. So if you have not experienced Pink Chiffon, you're going to want to pick this up. Finally, I don't even have one in a million. Why they are bringing back one in a million, I have no idea. I hated the packaging. I'm going to put a screenshot up right here. I did not like the packaging. Um, I just did not like it. It was too floral. I will be talking about it. I will be reviewing it. I will pick it up because I got to have it in the, I don't even have one in the Fine Fragrance Smith. I think I had a shower gel, uh, but it's not my thing. So one in a million is coming back. Who knows? I haven't smelled it in years. Maybe I'll like it. Go figure. You never know. So anyway, I'm most excited about Sunset Glow because I'm definitely in need of some of those pieces, but I feel like, you know, we're moving closer to semi-annual sale don't buy any, any of these now. I don't even know if they're online now. That's kind of a good question. I thought I saw S Sea Island Cotton and Pink Chiffon um, recently online. So let me see. Pink Chiffon, they may have taken them off in preparation for semi-annual. Um, let me see. Let me just look up. No, Pink Chiffon's for on. Um, $13.50, don't buy it now. Don't buy these scents until semi-annual sale because they're going to be a lot less expensive. So that is my um, advice for these retired scents. So anyway, let me know what you're most excited for. I will see you guys soon. Bye-bye.